see how Rich Palladino's voice is holding up here for our announcements. Introducing first directly in front of me from Nothing, Arizona. We have 269 pounds. Chances are he doesn't like you. Josh Briggs! His opponent in the corner to our left is a beyond wrestling original wrestling out of San Francisco, Ohio. Ricky Shane Page, as you mentioned, CZW champion, alpha male champion up in Canada. So he's a well-traveled veteran. But Josh Briggs has had some high-profile matches, not only here at Beyond Wrestling recently, but across the East Coast. So he's no stranger to working very talented veteran stars in the business. That's all great. That's all good. But tell me, when was the last time he wrestled a double heavyweight champion? I can't answer that question. That's right, because you're stupid, Paul. Stupid. Well, I, don't, I don't know about that, but I don't appreciate the personal insults. Lock up here. Listen, I'm sorry. ECPI is a very respectable university, just like the University of Phoenix. That's where you got your master's. I uh, it was ITT Tech, thank you very much. As Ricky Shane Page backs off Briggs in the corner. And Josh Briggs, I just put a, speaking of the website, PW Inside, I just put out an article this week about six talents on the independents who are ready to break through and make that next step in the business. And Josh Briggs was the first guy I thought of for it. And guess who recommended Josh Briggs for that article? That's true. I did ask around, and I did ask Stokely Hathaway, and that's what you answered. Ricky Shane Page is busted open. How did that happen? Ricky Shea Page is busted open after a lockup. Wow. Wow. I didn't know we were going to have a bloodbath this early, but someone get this man a Kleenex. Kevin Quinn has to throw out his gloves already. Well, it's all fun and games here to start off, but if he's bleeding after a lockup, I think this could get violent. How about you leak this? How about you leak? that Josh Briggs had a machete in his beard. Yeah, he, he could be like the Peaky Blinders. They had, they had razors in their hats. He could have one in his beard. That'd be a hell of a strategy. You should get MJF to grow one for the Dream Team. He, he has not hit puberty yet. He has not, he cannot grow a beard. We all know this, and he's not trolling him. All right? On his own time. Okay. On his own time. And if Josh Briggs has the wrestling IQ that I think he has. He's gonna go after that four, uh, excuse me, that forehead of Ricky Shea Page. I mean, look even the eyes. I mean, Ricky can barely keep his eyes open. He can barely pay attention because the blood is running down his face. He's trying his best. I know it's hard to pick that up on this live stream, but look at him, look at him. He can't be completely focused right now. That's when you know you've been in some violent battles in your career, when you're bleeding 20 seconds into a match. Josh Briggs, six foot eight, approximately 275 pounds, four-year starter on the offensive line for the University of Massachusetts at Amherst, which is very close to where we are now. So Briggs feeling at home here today, bit of a home game for him. And he was very comfortable backstage before this match. Normally, Briggs is in the zone. Whoa. Well, he's not comfortable anymore after that strike. Ricky Shane Page not looking to uh, go catch his catch can anymore. He's going to take oh. the battle to Briggs as he rakes the neck across the top rope and places Briggs face first, but Briggs is right back up. Yeah, Ricky took advantage of that opportunity. I mean, he's taking it to Josh Briggs in a way that I never thought would happen tonight. Josh Briggs having an issue with his sciatic nerve in his young career already, so going after the back is a smart game plan for RSP here, as Josh Briggs has also had some high-profile matches here beyond wrestling, recently taking on Keith Lee. Your boy. Who? Oh. I thought he was, yeah, I thought he was Dream Team. The only Keith that I acknowledge is Keith Sweat. Thank you very much. What an amazing suplex. Like, he just picked up Briggs and just dropped him like he was a sack of garbage. 
Well, Josh Briggs is no sack of garbage. He's a big, big man. Very impressive athletic background. Very impressive in the air, on the mat, striking. He can do it all, but right now, the only thing he can do is hold on for dear life as Ricky Shane Page is beating him down. And the thing is, this is cliche, but the phrase, you can never judge a book by its cover. And I think Ricky Shane Page is a perfect example. When you, when you first look at Page, you would assume that he's not but you would say a technical wrestler. You would assume that, you know, he's not that good in this ring. But Ricky Shane Page can wow people. He That's wowed everybody there champion. with that with the back body drop and kicked Briggs on the way down. Innovative offense from RSP, and then followed up with a little shimmy. Well, that's the thing. How do you beat Ricky Shane Page? You look at his size. You look at his experience level. You look at that confidence that he has. Because I'll say it again, he is a double heavyweight champion. I'm sure confidence is oozing through him. Weren't you the champion up in L4? I still am the champion. Oh, I'm the outer amazing crossbody. I am the outer limits champion. Wow, that's that's an interesting fact. I did not know. I'm the greatest hardcore brawler in the world today. Well, Ricky Shane Page might disagree with you there. You can see the scars on his arm. He's been through more than one death match in his time. He has the battle scars to prove it. But right now, Josh Briggs has come back with a huge elbow in the corner and telling RSP that he doesn't like it. And that boot straight to the face. Irish whip out of the corner. RSP hits hard, runs right into it, and Briggs been tired, side slam, but he's able going to go. I feel like if that were a smaller opponent, we would have saw more momentum and more spins around, but Briggs looked like he just wanted to drop him right away. I mean, more spins and the match would have been over. I, mean, right. I don't think you could take a sidewalk slam from that. Uh... I couldn't take a chop. I couldn't take anything. There's a, there's a reason I'm here and not in that ring. Kudos to you. I know we're having fun here today, but kudos to you for even being at ringside, let alone getting in the ring. I mean, uh, hardest work in show business. Huge backbreaker from Briggs. He goes for the cover right away. It seems like the tables have turned because earlier Ricochet Shane Page was targeting the back of Josh Briggs. It seems like Josh is hip to the game. He's trying to return the favor. Playing tit for tat, he was here earlier on commentary with me and I said to him, what's your strategy for someone who may be bigger and stronger than you? And he said, well, I'm just gonna have to help muscle them. The ego gets involved and he's just gonna go right for what he knows best. So if Ricky Shane Page goes for his back, he's gonna puff out his chest and go for Ricky Shane Page's. Wow! But imagine the bragging rights. If Josh Briggs can beat Ricochet Page, what's next? Is he gonna challenge for the for the Alpha Male Championship? Is he gonna go to CZW? What's next? Well, I think the sky is the limit for him. As, as you know, there are no titles here in Beyond Wrestling, but I wouldn't be surprised if he would go after the title of Ace of Beyond Wrestling at some point. Yeah, that's great, but you want a championship around your waist. You want that money, you want that drop, you want that cheddar. Why can't why can't he go to another promotion and chase Ricky Shane Page? He can. If he has a win over him, he can do whatever he wants to do. I'm sure he could, but his focus is on Beyond Wrestling and RSP right now. So as far as other places, that's far off his mind as he reverses out of that choke slam. Oh. And he puts RSP out with a choke slam into a backcracker. That was so close. I thought that was it for Ricky Shane Page. But here's the thing you have to give Briggs though. After that, after that big move, he still covered like he was a veteran. He hooked the leg. He, he, he tried to pin the shoulders down. If it was anyone else with his experience level, they probably just would have laid over him for the cover. But Josh Briggs wants to make sure that he's gonna win tonight. Well, unlike a lot of people, they'll just pander to the crowd, but there's no pandering for him right now. He is he full, he's full in the battle here with RSP as they're now gonna go toe to toe, exchanging strikes. And I don't like, I wouldn't wanna be in a battle with either of these guys in this situation. Yeah, I probably would've tapped out after the first four, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. 
Big boot by RSP. Goes for the lariat, runs into the head of Briggs. And a boot of his own. Another headbutt. And a headbutt. Risk versus reward. There was big risk, big reward, but he took himself out in the process. He needed to. Anything to keep Ricky Shane Page down so he could get, he get a second win. Now referee Kevin Quinn administering the counts. Who is going to get up first? Will anyone get up? After headbutts like that, I wouldn't be surprised if they were both out. We're up to six. And Br I know Briggs' days because it looks like he's going up top now. I mean, he has to be. He has a big ass head. Ricky Shane Page has a big ass head. Both those two colliding. Did Ricky Shane Page just kip up? He Not only did. did he kip up, he's to the top rope like a cat. I thought the ring was going to break, but it might have just been the back of Josh Briggs. I mean, look at that ring shake. Even the Beyond fans moved back a little bit. I would have, I moved back and we're about five feet off the ring. RSP with a cover and he kicks out at one. See, you see what I mean? Oh, gotta know about the covers, baby. of British wrestling. That was straight out of World of Sport, that hit. It was. Yeah, never mind about that whole chasing titles thing. I, I, I don't. Uh. And that's the thing with Josh Briggs. Maybe the adrenaline and the firing up was his downfall. Tunnel vision came into play and he lost focus on such a simple maneuver like that. You know what it was? He should have oh he should have given me the proper handshake when he came out. It's a good luck charm. <laughs> it is. Well, I don't know about that. But Josh Briggs, he's he has to be in shock after that. And there's a reason RSP holds titles up and down the East Coast and in Canada.